Hi, this is Jeff from bestairbrushingkits.com, and we put this video together for you to show you, demonstrate some basic masking techniques. Okay, before I started putting this um, spray mask down, I prepped the area with a little bit of uh, sandpaper, 400 grit sandpaper, just to get a little rough edge on it. And when you lay that spray mask down, make sure it's really flat, no bubbles in it, no creases. All right, just taking the, some measurements real quick to make sure the uh, artwork is centered properly. And now I'm just placing a piece of masking tape on top of the uh, artwork so it acts like a hinge. So when I'm pulling it back and forth, it's not going to lose the spot. I'm going to start tracing this out. Alright, start cutting in now. Um, if you're not used to cutting in uh, on spray mask, you might want to try it on something else first to make sure. you got to have the right pressure on it. Uh, you cut too deep and you're going to be cutting into that paint, so be really careful when you're doing it. Okay, so all the cutting's done. Uh, I've already taken off the pieces that are going to get the first paint application. And before I take that piece of uh, artwork off uh, that I used as a template, I'm going to put a little score on there on the tape so I can line it back up again if I need to reuse that in case I mess up some kind of tape or cut or paint or something like that. I can use that again easily put it back together again. And all I'm doing here is just putting tape over the edges so when I'm spraying it, the uh, artwork will stop on the back of that guitar. And I'm just going to take it and uh, wrap it in plastic uh, garbage bag, make sure there's no overspray going on the rest of the guitar, and then cut around the uh, artwork area itself, and then put it in the paint shop. All right, so I got it in the paint, paint booth. And what I'm gonna do is, the first coat I put on here is gonna be really light. It's just gonna be something I can put down to get the other coats to adhere to that base black coat. I'm spraying on a silver uh, paint right now. It's, it's gonna take like maybe four or five covers till I can get a solid silver on it. spray application I'm going to be shooting it with a hair dryer and that's just to speed the process up a little bit. You just got to make sure that that hair dryer is not too hot because you don't want to peel or blister that paint. All right so I got the final application on the silver now. It's, it's a solid so I'm going to start peeling away for the second layer and what I usually do is just take a little little spot with the tip of that exacto knife and then peel the rest of it away. Peel away really slow because you don't want to pull the rest of the uh, mask off and you also don't want to peel the paint off at the same time. So. And just kind of be careful with it. Just gonna take the rest of this 
This is the last piece I need to take off, and then I'll start putting that in a lay on. This piece is like one big circle on the face, and I'm gonna kinda cut it as soon as I get away a little bit, and then I'll draw the rest of it down, and then I cut that piece, so I'm not gonna disturb any other pieces on that. The detailed areas you gotta take a little more time with. Alright, now I'm applying the coat onto the second part. And this is probably going to get like two or three layers, maybe. Okay.